For the following exercises, sketch a line with the given features. So the first one is saying we're going to sketch a line of x is equal to 3. So anytime we're going to sketch a line, remember we first need a set of axes. So why don't we draw in our y and our x? Okay, and you can label them. Now, I know this seems like it doesn't follow the y equals mx plus b form, all right? I can show you that it does, but let's let's actually just keep this in mind. What this is saying is that whatever line I plot, whether it looks like this or looks like this or looks like this or whatever, the x value always, always must equal 3. Always. Everywhere. So, where's 3 on your x-axis? Positive 3. It's right here, right? So, plot that point there. Now, plot another point where x is 3. I don't care what y is. Don't care whatsoever. Where's another point where x is 3? Did you choose this one? Probably not. Probably not. Which is fine. You don't have to. Did you choose that one maybe? Probably, right? What about this one? Is x3 there as well? Yes. How about here? Yes. Is x3 over here? No. How about here? Is x3? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, wait a minute. Is this the line? Yes. That's the line. And that's it. Right? That is literally it. So you can memorize this if you like, that whenever you have x is equal to a number, it's always going to be a vertical line. You can memorize that if you want. Easy. Now watch how simple this is. If you want to memorize that, that's great. If you want to always understand it, that's great too. So look, x is equal to negative 2. So what do you think I'm going to do here? I'm going to find where x is negative 2. So here it is. And where is another point where x is negative 2? Here, 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 right? Except, oh my goodness, it just works out to be exactly the same. And there's that graph. See how quickly this can come together? Right? It's not hard. It just requires a decent explanation. And then no skipping practice. Right? How do you play like Beethoven? Can you just sit and watch Beethoven play? Uh-uh-uh-uh. You gotta sit and watch him, but then you gotta actually practice. Okay? So, this one now. Ooh, R of X. Oh, God. Hate that notation, right? What do we always do? What have I mentioned countless times in the past? What do we like to look at this as? Call it Y. F of X, H of X, G of X, K of X, R of X. Doesn't matter. R of T, K of... It doesn't matter. Call it Y. Now, if this is the case, y is equal to 4. Oh, that kind of... Okay, maybe I can understand how to do this now. Horizontal is x, vertical is y. Now, plot a point in which the y value is 4. Any point you want. Does this point here have a y value of 4? Yes, it does. Positive 4, right? How about this point? Does this point have a value of, of y being 4? It does, right? It, it so happens to also have an x value, right? It has an x of 3 and then a y of 4. So this point here would have a coordinate of 3, 4. But that's okay. It tells me nothing about x. What that basically means is x can be infinite, okay? Or this line that I'm going to draw is not controlled by x in any fashion. It's controlled by what y is. So I could plot any point that which y is 4, and notice what type of line gets drawn now. A horizontal. You can memorize that as well. Whenever you have y is equal to a constant, some type of a number, it'll always be horizontal. Okay, horizontal. Cool. I'm done. Guys, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it very much. Please remember... Blah, 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 blah. Please remember to help us out by hitting that subscribe button, like button, and maybe even helping us spread the word by telling your friends. We appreciate it. Take care.